Caleb Williams, who went into USC and did pretty darn good, which brings us to a look at the Trojans. Here's a quick look at just some of the four-star players that they are bringing in. Another top 20 ranked class for Lincoln Riley, who's just ended his second full season as the head coach of the Trojans. And good enough to join us now and talk about his class. Lincoln, how do things change for you in either a big or a small way now that you're joining the Big Ten? Well, first, thanks for having me. I think this is my first uh, Big Ten uh, uh, official engagement, I guess, if, if you would call it that. So I appreciate you guys having me excited to, to be there, be a part of the league coming up. Uh, yeah, I think, listen, I think USC has always been a national brand and always will be. And so I think we're, we would always, you know, look to, to sign the, the best players and the best fits that we can possibly find from coast to coast, but certainly, you know, one playing in the big 10. Now these different venues, the different areas you're going to play in, you can feel uh, a little bit of the difference there when you're out recruiting. And I think our class, you know, even here in this first year reflects that. Uh, so that piece is very, very, very exciting. Uh, and I think some of the natural things that we're trying to do in taking a program that, that have been down for a little bit and trying to build it uh, back up uh, into becoming national championship caliber year in and year out, I think some of that natural, uh, some of the natural steps you would take, we would be doing regardless of what conference that we're in. And so uh, we're excited to be a part of the Big Ten. Uh, you know, our goal is to to be there to compete, to win at the highest level, uh, regardless of where we play, regardless of who we play. Uh, we know it's going to be some some great competition in this league. We know it's going to be some some you know new exciting matchups that come come of it. The chance to play in some great venues, and we're going to try to build the very best roster that we can, uh, and look forward to jumping in soon. You know, we were just talking about quarterbacks and transfer quarterbacks, and I'm curious, whether it's a transfer or a kid in high school, what do you look for when you're looking at a QB? A lot, a lot. I mean, I think first is the guy winner. Uh, that's, the, that's the name of the game. Quarterbacks can get that done so many different ways, and but you have to have that way about you, the ability to lead people, uh, the ability to inspire people, I think is so important. Uh, and so from an intangible part, you know, that is the, the most important thing to me. You know, does, does that person captivate you? Can they captivate a room? Uh, the second piece of it for me is toughness. Uh, if your quarterback's not tough, your team's not going to be tough. And, and that's just, I think, any league, any era, I think that, that continually is a major factor. And then certainly you look at the, the physical skills, uh, the accuracy, the, the athleticism, the mental skills of being able to process uh, and understand and adjust. And so... A lot goes into it. It's obviously a position we, we've been able to have a little bit of success with and obviously excited about the future of that position here. Let me ask you about a guy who catches passes from those quarterbacks. Xavier Jordan is one of the top-ranked recruits regardless of position in the country. What excites you about him? Yeah, explosive playmaker uh, from right here in, in Southern California. Uh, kid that we got to see uh, pretty early on uh, through camps, high school practices that really stood out to us. A uh, guy that's just a really consistent playmaker, played in, uh, uh, played at a high level uh, uh, really his entire senior season, played some great competition here in Southern California and was really a dominant player. So uh, we love his versatility, love the playmaking ability that he brings. And, and certainly with our room, uh, is going to have a chance to come in and have a, an early impact for us. When you look at this signing day group as a whole, where would you say the strength is? Uh, offensive line. Uh, defensive line in the in the secondary, and those were the three the three areas that we knew we had to to, to really address in this class. And so to be able to get a full class there um, across the board was was really a great thing. Uh, obviously, building up those lines of scrimmage, which is the number one number one part of playing championship level ball. You know, and playing consistent and being able to win games in different ways. That, that that was a huge huge priority, and uh, you know, appreciative our staff, everybody that was a part of bringing that group in, and uh, it really you know you see the size, uh, especially along the the front on both sides that that we're bringing in that that really looks to the future in terms of trying to become a bigger, more physical front, a team that's led uh, by those offensive and defensive linemen, and so. Proud of that class, uh, that group that came in. We can't wait to get those guys together and get started. And then the secondary was a big piece. You know, we only signed a couple of guys last year. Knew we had to come in and really uh, sign a strong class there. And uh, to, to bring in the five that we are, feel tremendous about them. Again, another, another group that's going to have a chance to come in and have an early impact here. And, and we're certainly going to be counting on that. 
Lincoln, we know you're up against it and you got to run, but thank you for your time and congrats on your first appearance on the Big Ten Network. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks for having me. You look at the state by state breakdown for USC. No surprise, they've got six in state kids, but as he mentioned, they do go all over Texas, Georgia, Florida, and multiple other places as well. Uh, there's a lot of names I wanted to get to him uh, and talk about, Jake, but one of them was on the defensive line. Cameron Fountain is a guy that drew a lot of attention in his high school career. How come? Well, he's an elite athlete and an elite recruit, but I think he's going to draw a lot of attention for USC because understanding the weakness of their team these past few years has been on the defensive side of the football. They need talent. They need depth. They need competition. He's an excellent get as a pass rusher. He worked primarily off the edge getting to the backfield often. He's got good size, good measurables. And I do like when guys are two sport athletes. I don't, I'm not for specialization. He averaged a double double in basketball. Okay. So you know he's a well-rounded <laughs> athlete. I can tell you, Xavier Jordan, you heard coach talk about him, his ability to really track the ball. You just saw it right there. And it's about being able to make plays and be explosive. Talked about being able to come into a room and compete at a high level. And that's what he was able to do. The competition out there is first class when you start to think about who he's been competing in, whether it's in seven on seven drills or at the high school level, he's played against elite talent his entire career. Now this is a guy that I really get excited about. Uh, Marcellus Williams, 5'11", 185, and he's a guy who's willing to be physical at the point of attack, will tackle, and is gonna make plays in the pass game. Being physical, he can do it. Really in coverage, he can get that done too understands where he needs to be at all times and really was recruited by one of the best recruiters out there, Dante Williams. I want to talk about one of the most well-rounded athletes in this class. Elijah Newby comes from a background where he played wide receiver and safety. He's going to play linebacker at the next level. They'll also play basketball. Jake, you like multi-sport guys. How about this? Six foot four, 210 pounds, and he has School records in the 100, he ran 10.83 at mm. 6'4", 210 pounds, and high jump 6'9". Wow. So USC is getting just an absolutely phenomenal athlete there. <laughs> That's pretty good. That fits in with what they have there. They can bring in some real athletes into USC, as Big Ten fans are about to find out.